Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's me, Richard. I am the host of Real Men Craft 2. Yes, I am drinking coffee out of my Evil Queen mug. Uh, today it's Thursday, August 3rd. And uh, I've got a canvas to open from Crafties. And I've got some other stuff for you. Come back after the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, hopefully you guys are all uh, experiencing cooler weather. Speaking of coffee, I'm also drinking Fuji apple water. Uh, so um, I'm gonna take a sip of water really quick. I will edit that out. <laughs> no, I won't. So. You guys have all been leaving the funniest and most kind comments about Jeremy, that little beast. Uh, so Bruce's nephew, Kevin, <laughs> his wife, Carol, posted some pictures to us the other day of Jeremy working on his car. Yes, he has one of those um, huge electric battery powered cars that he can drive around and his is a red Jeep, just like my old Jeep that I used to have. But I wanted to post these pictures <laughs> of Jeremy taking an afternoon drive with the dog. Yes, he's in the car with his little dog, uh, Polly. She goes by Polly Hom. <laughs> and uh, so here's a picture of Jeremy riding in the Jeep with Polly. <laughs> and then here's a picture of Jeremy <laughs> working under the hood. Yeah. He's, he looks like he seriously knows what he's doing. He, he's just working under the hood. Like, uh, oh, I got to, you know, make sure my, my motor is running. Uh, but I wanted to sh uh, show all of you that, uh, remember the koi fish that I was, the, the koi painting that I was working on? You know, the, the one that had the hidden image in it? So what I wanted to do, I wanted to completely finish the, the painting to make sure I had enough of the blues and, and uh, greens to take out that hidden image that said ART. And I did. So I wanted to pop up a picture of what it looks like now. Well, actually I'll hold up the canvas and then I'll hold up the picture. So are uh, you ready? So here's the top. No more hidden word. Nope, it's completely gone. You can no longer see the A, R, and the T. Yeah, it was right there. Yep. Yep, I removed it. So, uh, once again, yeah, I removed it. So uh, I trimmed it, I sealed it, I double sealed it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love this painting. It kind of looks like uh, stained glass in, in parts of the painting. And if you look at the koi in different places, this, uh, this all looks like stained glass. And uh, see right in here? Yeah, it all looks like stained glass and I'm really, really into the whole stained glass look right now. Uh, so I am going to put this, let me roll this back up. You always want to roll the diamonds to the inside like this. So if you ever wanted to ship one, you always want to roll it this way with the diamonds on the inside. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's the koi. And yes, I took out that hidden image. So uh, 
I want to welcome some new subscribers to the channel. And uh, speaking of subscribers, I know uh, I just I, I don't um, I just want to make sure that all of you that watch the channel and come back uh, to watch me again. I just want to make sure you don't miss any content. So always just hit that subscribe button right there. Ring that little bell. Doesn't share your email. It just sends you a notification of when I post another video. So uh, in no particular order, I want to welcome to Real Men Craft 2, Madeline Franz, Kakeo Monster, SNG 220. It's so funny because SNG more than carpets. We have a company here in Sacramento that's SNG. So yeah, so I want to welcome SNG 220, R20634, and I think that's R2D2's number in the original movie, I'm not sure. Uh, Renee Hicks, Diamond Girl 89, and Cassandra Oy. So everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so I'm also going to be popping up some more uh, pictures uh, somewhere in this video of a lot of you are uh, a lot of your subscribers uh, diamond paintings that you've uh, completed lately now um, I have a, a, um, a guy his name is Michael and uh, Pulaski or Pulaski I got it um, in fact I know I wrote his name down shoot what did I do with it um, but him and his husband, I think, live in the Ukraine, but he just started diamond painting in January, and uh, he's already done 30 canvases, and he's working on his fifth custom, so I'm going to pop up picture the, uh, pictures of those here uh, somewhere in the video, and um, it's funny, because he has rats, he has rats as pets, he has six of them, and um, uh, he had two new ones. Today's Thursday. I think he had two new ones Tuesday or just yesterday. He said in the video, but uh, or in the email. But one of the one of the canvases he did was to his veterinary's office with their logo. So I thought that was really really cool. And then, uh, well, I'll post pictures of the uh, other two that he sent me of the first four customs that he's done. And now he's working on a fifth one. So congratulations to you, Michael. Uh, yeah, you're in this addictive world of diamond painting. So, uh, I'm going to open this. This is from Craft Ease. Um, I saw this on Tatiana's uh, channel, which is uh, forever, no, Lovecraft, not Lovecraft. <laughs> I'll post her name right here, though, I promise. Um <laughs> I, I'm subscribed to so many channels and I follow so many of you and we I have so many friends on here that I can't remember everybody's uh, channel names. I remember everybody by their first name. So um, what else did I want to mention? Um, oh, Laura, Crafty Chef Diamond and uh, Donna over at Diamond Art Joy, you both have got... Uh, little packages coming to you in the mail. So look for a white padded envelope um, from me. Uh, yes, uh, so I mailed those out Tuesday, so they should be coming to you in the next couple days or so. But uh, yeah, let's open this canvas. So I'm gonna put you guys on pause. I'm gonna move you over to the big uh, table and then I'll unroll this. But uh, while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna use my trusty slice ceramic cutter. I'm going to open the box. I'll pop you guys. Uh, you don't really have to see me open the box, I guess. It's just kind of boring. Um, yeah, so this comes to me from Craft Ease. I ordered this. Um, this is normally not my kind of diamond painting to order, but when I saw this on Tatiana's channel, I literally thought this painting was beautiful. I believe it's a 55 by 55. Uh, let's open this.
Yes, and I literally fell in love with this painting. I thought, wow, it was beautiful. Now, uh, Tatiana, I think, had ordered it in a smaller size or something, but she didn't really like the rendering, so she ordered it in this bigger size. So, yeah, I'm going to open this, and I'm going to put you guys on pause. We're going to do a little magic here. <whistles> We're going to go over to the other table. So, Bruce has taken Zero now for a car ride. I just took him for a car ride when I got home from my dentist appointment this morning. Bruce was outside cleaning the car, and uh, I took Zero for a ride around the block. Now Zero's going to go for a ride around the block with Bruce. So let's open this canvas. Now, this is normally, like I said, not a picture that I would order, but Crafty's... I fell in love with this picture. I think she's beautiful. She's more of like a piece of art. Oh, and it looks like all the wax is out of the tool kit. So let's pop all that back in here. Now this is the first canvas I've ever gotten from uh, Crafties. It is a square. I did order it in a square. Colors are beautiful. Uh, yeah. So it is a 50 by 50. It's a square and it does have ABs. Or it says AB squares. I don't know what that means. There's 45 colors. So let's flip this canvas over. Now, this is a this wasn't a super expensive canvas, but this is this is not a budget friendly canvas. Now I'm going to zoom in here. This canvas, as you can see, is very, very, very soft, very soft. It's a uh, got the scalloped edge. It's almost like fabric. Yeah, it's very soft and very nice. Poured glue canvas. And there she is. She's absolutely beautiful. This is Cinderella. Yeah, it's a beautiful image of her face. Uh, let me see if turning this light off gets rid of the glare. She's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Super, super, super soft canvas. Drill field is very, very clear. Yep, her eyes are beautiful. Her eyes are gorgeous. There's the drill field. The detail in this painting there's her lips. Drill field is phenomenal. I'm really, 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 really super impressed with this canvas. Uh, oh, God, she's gorgeous. But like I said, this is not normally my kind of canvas I would order, but I fell in love with this painting. It's beautiful. It's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a painting from the... The classic masters or something. Let's uh, test the stickiness. Wow. The stick on this canvas is very, very, very good. Such a soft, beautiful canvas. I 
I know this will not be, yeah, look how clear this drill field is. There's her eye, her right eye. I'm really excited to do this. This will actually be framed and put up in our house somewhere. She's beautiful. Yep, yeah, very, very pretty. She's beautiful. So it looks like, it kind of reminds me of the, the Cinderella from the Disney live action version of the movie with uh, Lily. I'm just having a brain fart today. But uh, she's beautiful. I love her. Love her. So, I'm going to pop you guys back around. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I think she's just a beautiful canvas. Uh, the canvas, I will link everything down below in the basement right here. Uh, you guys can go to Crafties if you've never purchased from them. I will definitely be ordering from them again. The canvas quality is absolutely beautiful. And that rendering and that drill field, this is going to be really a fun piece to work on. Um, so Michael's name is Michael Pisaki, and uh, I'm going to pop up the pictures right here. So this is one of the first uh, uh, customs he did. So those of us that grew up in the 1960s, we remember Danger, Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, that's Will Robinson from Lost in Space. Great canvas. Here's, his, here's another one of his customs. This is his... Uh, veterinary clinics logo i thought that was great that he uh made that for his vets clinic here's the rats now that's not actually a photo of his rats because he said trying to uh, take a picture of his rats is like uh yeah impossible because they're so fast but it is a cute picture i'm not into rats i'm i'm scared to death of rats i hate them i don't like them but that is a cute picture and then this one is absolutely beautiful this is not the Madonna version from the movie, which I loved, but this is the uh, uh, custom of the real Ava, Evita Peron. And he put the letters in, he added the letters, but that is absolutely a stunning custom of Ava Peron. Beautiful, beautiful canvas. So Michael, good job, good job on those. But um, hey, like I said, you guys, I would love to share some of your uh, photos of your works. It's so bad that we can't post uh, pictures here on uh, YouTube. I wish we could. I would love to add pictures of stuff. But a lot of you have sent me pictures um, of customs, of paintings you've done. All you have to do is email them to me right here at rkevinwilson at gmail.com. Drop me a line. Say, hey, Richard, these are, this, these are some of the canvases I've been working on. I'll post them and I'll, I'll share them with, you, with uh, everybody on here as subscriber Diamond Paintings. Um, but Michael Pasaki, thanks for sending me those. I love all four of them. I actually like the rat one too. It's actually, it's, it's actually a cute picture and Bruce thought they were really cute. Um, but once again, thanks to crafties. I absolutely do love that, uh, portrait of Cinderella. It's absolutely beautiful. And I can't, the, the piece is actually going to be a great canvas to work on. Those colors are just absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, it looks like a painting from the classic masters, but um, Lily James, I looked up, <laughs> I could not remember who played Cinderella in the Disney live action. It was Lily James. And that picture of that, that Cinderella's face reminds me of Lily James's version from that live action movie. So once again, um, Donna at uh, Diamond Art Joy and Laura, Crafty Chef Diamond. You guys have got little packages coming to you. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me know when those come. Um, I forgot to get the tracking number from my postal carrier when I uh, dropped them off the other day. But hey, you guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2. And just remember, stay bright, stay blingy, stay creative. And you guys, leave comments below. Throw me a thumbs up. Drop me an email if you do want to uh, shoot me pictures of canvases you've been working on. Or uh, if you have any questions about anything else. And yes... The next video is going to be a twisted beaded spiral chain because I need to make a chain for this Maleficent 
pendant. I absolutely love this. She's really, really cool. In fact, let me see if I can zoom in. She's absolutely really, really pretty. But she's set in resin. She's got little teeny, teeny, teeny one millimeter uh, Swarovski crystals around the outside. And uh, yeah, I want to wear it. <laughs> so I'm going to bead a three, a very simple beginner friendly uh, beaded three bead twisted herringbone. So take care, everybody. I'm Richard with Real Craft 2. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.